This is Mary at the Mary Optie, and today, today I am going to do day 10 of my acrylic paintings. Yay! <laughs> I'm still two days behind, but when am I not two days behind? I really like how these paintings are forming their own little segment in my April journal. Isn't this fun? So day 10 will be on this side, on the back of this folio. So I'm just going to pull it out. Put my journal away for now. So what am I going to paint today? Well, I was at the dollar store yesterday, and I bought these gardening gloves. <laughs> oh, they'll last, they'll last this season, I think. Little flowers in there and leather and the green. So I'm going to paint those with a couple of the daffodils that I cut the other day and a water a water uh, pit, uh, vase here, a uh, water pitcher. We're getting ready to have some flowers. Yes. So they'll be off over here in the corner. You won't be able to see them. And I'm just going to get to it. I'm just going to get to it rather than do I like to sketch with this brush to get the overall composition, and then I go in and paint. I sketch with this very watered-down light blue. So I'm going to start painting, and when I'm finished, we'll come back and look at the result.
my finished painting. I'm pretty happy with it. I like this area. I like this area of the watering can. I tried to get the light source up here as it blended down into the shadow in here. I might have done more shadow, but when I start doing that, I start getting distinct areas. And I just wanted it to kind of blend. I'm pretty happy with the daffodils. But I have to tell you, if you're going to paint daffodils, paint one or two. <laughs> When you start painting a, a cluster of daffodils, it, it, it can become tiring unless you're very, very detailed. I'm happy with it, though. This is the last page in this folio, so I will be starting a new one tomorrow. This is day 10. So I hope that you've enjoyed watching me paint this. And... If you do, come back tomorrow and I will be doing another one. I will see you on the next page.